All right, here we go. We are like 97% finished. This is Rick's Arcade. Going up to the mountains. Got all RGB buttons, joysticks. This system has, I think, between 40 to 80,000 games. It's got just about every system you could imagine. I'm excited for you, Rick. Loading complete. Got those little stickers just so you know. You have to put some new labels on them, but you got escape, enter, tab. Right now, I got these set for right click and left click on the mouse, but again, you can set these to whatever you want. I got uh, start over here. Um, this is a favorites tab. And then start over here. That's not set for anything. And then you got your two coins down here. Sometimes the games have to be set. Love Dig Dug. Loading complete. One-handed. These games are a bit problematic. Might have to do a few configurations with this one. You can I use your spinner for a few uh, driving games like Outrun. It's pretty sweet. Only thing I really have not been able to configure is the light gun. Here we are live from Yoshi Park. Uh, I love Mario Kart. This special course passes players to the attractions of Yoshi Park. This broadcast is brought to you by Justin Fantasy. Ooh, that's hard to do with one hand, huh? Alright. So you press escape to get out and enter takes you out of the wheel and goes to a different wheel. When you want to go, you just press start, goes into your game, pick a game, press start again. Loading complete. So we want to get out, you hit escape. That's, now I'm in the same Capcom wheel. When I hit enter, I'm out of the wheel. Really cool. Um, 
I do have a few favorites set, which is kind of cool because you can go in and put all your favorites in. So, some favorites. Okay. Now when I want to get out all the way, I just hit enter, ask me if I want to exit, I hit the one button which is yes, and here you go. Now I've got my mouse here, I can go into, use this as my right click, so there you go man, this thing is awesome, I know the wait has been long. But I am really excited about it. We can always add full artwork on the bottom later and on the sides like you saw that other guy's game. It's really easy to put on. Now in the back is a lot more complicated. I still got some wires to clean up but and it is no easy task. Put a big old electrical deal in here for all the cords. I still got to find a way to mount that because those two buttons are right in the way of where that needs to go so I'm just gonna put a piece of wood and where that protrudes out a little bit it'll be cool and then I will get that about as cleaned up as I can I mean it's kinda clean over here I just need some more tape around this stuff so there you go Rick just wanna give you an update should be finished I don't know Monday or Tuesday man hoping I can come up sometime mid next week and bring it over show you another guys game I was working on the same time I was doing yours all the hard work on yours made this one pretty easy. That's going to be the power button. And yours will have that too. So we can figure out if you want to put a power button. Right now this is open. So I can jimmy that over to um, be power. Or I can put another button. You do have escape, enter, and tab. There's not really much more you need. You can definitely We can definitely put a few more buttons down here. For pause, maybe possibly even putting one here. Um, probably easier to do them down here. I don't really use pause personally. And I, I'm unsure what this is. I've never used this in any of my games. So that can always be a pause. That could be a pause. So just kind of let me know what you want to do with that. All right, bud.